perspective, I want you to know that this is not a concert. This is not something about entertaining. Uh, uh, this is not something about showing who is the best. Uh, what we come to do is to lift up the King of Kings uh, and the Lord of Lords. Uh, we come to lift up uh, the mighty of the Lion uh, of the time of Judah. lifting up the name of the Lord that he would come and he would bless our nation thanking him for all the blessings that he have done and praying that he would just continue to bless us and that we would have change in our nation hallelujah blessed be your name God of Ecclesiastical Affairs, the Honorable Girl in Miguel, and at this time I want you to welcome her as she come and make some brief remarks. I want at this time to greet with peace the visiting pastors and all who are visiting with us this afternoon. I want to greet Youth for Christ and I want to ask us to put our hands together for them and show appreciation for what they are doing. Saints of God, people who are called by the name of the Lord, greetings in the name of Jesus. Our country needs the Lord. The church needs the Lord. The clergy needs the Lord. The faithful need the Lord. Those who are lukewarm need the Lord. The cinnamon who is putting time off needs the Lord. The young people need the Lord. The little children need the Lord. We all need the Lord. My brothers and sisters, as we look around in our world, we know that frustrations and let me say the changing scenes of life cause people to become suicidal, cause people to lose their minds. But you and I, who know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, we've got a blessed hope. I pray that this afternoon's meeting may touch hearts. I pray that those of us who have fallen from grace, that we would return to the Lord. Israel of God, return to the Lord. 
I am very happy to be here with you this evening because in the Ministry of Social Development, I can say to you that from day to day, the problems keep mounting. And I remember on one occasion, there was a woman with a cancer and she came to speak to me. I had never seen the lady. And I counseled her as the Holy Spirit would have me do. And then while I said, I'll see you another time, she said, Minister, would you pray? And I opened my eyes. And then I grabbed her hand and the hand of the friend who was visiting. And I went before the throne of grace, holding hands with them. And at that time, someone knocked on the door to come in to see me. And at the end of it, I had a little laugh. I say, maybe they are saying this is a minister with a difference. Because instead of doing other work, she's in here having prayer meeting. But thanks be to God for the mercy seat where Jesus sits and he answers prayer. May God continue to bless and to keep us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. There's someone else who is special to us who is also in our midst. And um, I'm talking about no other person but the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's just shout for him. Yeah. 
Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love you, baby, you're the I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save me. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My dad, you said, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name.
Hallelujah. And our leaders here, they're going to just pray out. We want you to join with us as we pray tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God, you've been good to us. God, you've been good to us. Words are hard to find to say thank you, but from this evening, all of us can say thank you, Lord. Thank you from the depths of our hearts. Hallelujah. You've been good, Lord. You worked us up this morning. Hallelujah. You brought us here this evening. And you've been blessed with health and strength. Hallelujah. Thank you for the air we breathe. Thank you for the knowledge we have of you. Hallelujah. Our triune God, hallelujah, who came from heaven to earth. Hallelujah. From the earth, you went to the cross. From the cross, you to the grave. From the grave went to the sky. So you have requested of mankind that we must lift up Jesus. And if you be lifted up, you draw all men unto you. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we lift you up this evening. We thank you. We thank you, our Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord God, that we can open, 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 open says like this to worship you. Thank you for this provision. Thank you for this opportunity. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, we are a plural country. Just as you are God, the Trinity, the three in one. So we are a country made up of many islands. But God, we are one people. One people called by your name. Gather this evening to pray and to call upon you. Lord, my responsibility this evening, along with this wonderful audience, is to pray for the men of our nation. Oh God, in the very beginning you created man, 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 man in your image and your likeness, man to praise you and to worship you, man to glorify your name. But man, oh God, he sinned, he fell, but oh God, you sent Jesus to lift him up and to reinstate him, hallelujah. Just that the first Adam fell, the first man fell, the first man, Jesus, to rise from the dead, is alive to make man the true, the true character of what you expect of us. And now, oh God, I pray that our men in our society will arise to the challenge that is before us. Lord, we will be men of integrity, men of character, Lord God, men of destiny, men of dreams and visions of God to have one of the best nations on planet Earth. I pray, God, that men with their rightful place will be good husbands, good fathers, oh God, those who have forsaken their family and children, forgive them and bring them back in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray that men will be the men in their homes. Oh God, the men to the wives, the husbands. Oh God, I pray for the men of our nation. We pray for every man, oh God, every male child, every male child in this nation. Oh God, we pray for every grandfather. Oh God, every father, every single parent, oh God, every father. Oh, every young man in this nation, that you'll get a hold of their heart, oh God, and turn them around, that you'll bring honor and glory to your matchless name. I pray, Lord God, that these men would stand up to their responsibilities. I pray, God, that the men will return to their rightful places. We think of those men who the devil has destroyed. Right now they're in prison. Right now they're in bondage, oh God. There's some walk in the street where they're in bondage, Lord. Loose them and set them free. In the name of Jesus, we bind the spirits that are given, given that vision to our men. Spirits that are sending our men contrary, oh God. We bind this evening and pray that the men of this nation, oh God, will come back home like the prodigal boy. Those who are good, Father God, let them continue to be good. Those who are not so good, oh God, let them be good. Those, oh God, who are going to strip in the back. Let us rise to the challenge. I am praying for some role models in our society. I am praying for the role models in our society that the younger generation would see young men and say, I want to be like my dad. I want to be like my leader. I want to be like some youth leader in the community. Bless this nation with some of the greatest men. Tonight we claim a turnaround in our nation. Come on, believers. Come on. We claim a turnaround in our nation. We claim a turn. We claim a turn in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God for good men. Bless the men of this nation. 
And we thank the Lord for the turnaround and the change in Jesus' name. And we say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. There is none God who can be compared with you. Lord, you are mighty, you are glorious, you are awesome. God, it is in your name that we come tonight. Oh, Father, Lord God, as we come on behalf of our nation, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, God, tonight I lift you the unemployment situation. Oh, God, Jehovah, the King of the earth, oh, God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, it is before you we come tonight. Oh, when we call upon your name, we call upon you to provide, we call upon you to open doors. God, we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ that our people, oh, God, would equip themselves, that we would, oh, God, educate ourselves, oh, God, that, Lord, we make ourselves ready, oh, God, for the job market, because, Lord, we know, God, that you are God that provides, that you are God that is able to live exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ever ask or imagine, God, tonight, in the name of Jesus, I pray that jobs, oh, God, will be found, oh, God, in the public, in the private sector, I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that our people, oh, God, will be innovative, they will be sensible, they will be wise, oh, God, I pray in the name of Jesus for the spirit of entrepreneurship, oh God, that we will ourselves, oh God, go out there and open for ourselves doors, make for ourselves employment, and even create some for someone else. I pray God in the name of Jesus for every sector, every business space. I pray God for our government. Oh God, I pray you in the name of Jesus that you will give them favor originally and internationally. Oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus that we'll be able to open up some factories, we'll be able to open up some industries, even some markets, oh God. I pray, Lord, our nation will continue to move on, that the infrastructure will continue, Lord, to develop so our tradesmen and women, oh God, will find some much needed employment. I pray against the spirit of laziness in our country, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, tonight, oh Lord, I pray for good health and strength for our people, oh God, and I pray that as we go out here, as we spend time upon our workplaces, God, and we will work hard, we will work long, we will give our best in the name of Jesus Christ, we will put in quality time, oh God, in the name of Jesus, help us, your people, oh Lord, give us wisdom, oh God, even those in cabinet, those in government, I pray in the name of Jesus, that they will be, oh God, they will give them a heart, a heart for the people in the name of Jesus, that they will see employment as paramount, as important in this land. I pray God in the name of Jesus, help them to sit down and make plans, plans that will benefit our country, plans that will benefit our people. Oh God, as we seek to do things in our country, I pray, Lord, and give them wisdom, give them wisdom, give them wisdom, oh dear, oh God, I pray. Father God, tonight I pray that our people, oh God, Lord, would just go out here and do their best, oh Lord. Let them do their best, God. Give them good health and strength in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, even for the church, and we will continue to intercede on behalf of our nation in the precious name of Jesus. God, we are claiming it. We are claiming employment. We are claiming jobs, oh God. Father, make a way. Open some doors, oh God. Create spaces. Create jobs in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh, for this we give you thanks. For this we give you thanks, oh God. Father, we give you thanks. We claim it. We claim it. We claim it tonight. We claim it in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah.
most Jesus, we lift up the young women, oh God. We lift up the older ones, Father. And we pray, oh God, that they would esteem themselves highly there, Jesus. That they would, listen, that they would have wisdom, oh God. That they may have understanding in the name of Jesus. Father, it's your will, oh God, for every good and every perfect gift from the, from the Father, which is above. Lord, we just bless you. Father, we see today in our country, oh God, the dress code of the ladies, oh God, it's not modest. And Father, in your word, you say that we must dress modestly, O God. I we just rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. God, you are the only measurement. You are the only standard. And let us honor you in our dress tonight, O God. Let us honor you. Let us worship you, O God, in the name of Jesus. You see, as we separate now, in the name of Jesus, and we free up the blood. Lord, we can't finish. We can't end it in the name of Jesus. And we give you thanks. says that we must pray for those who are in authority. We want to pray right now for the government. First of all, we want to recognize the prime ministers right here in Amazon. We want to recognize him and we want to call him and the other ministers that are here. We want them to come. Church, it is our responsibility to pray for them. We are calling them and we want to pray for them tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Could you take the hands of somebody next to you as we call in the name of the Lord. We declare tonight that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Blessed be the wonderful name of the Lord God. He is Lord. And we declare tonight that Jesus is Lord over St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Hallelujah. From fancy to Richmond, from Beckway to the end of the Grenadines, we declare that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Pray, oh God, that you would guide him in the name of 
of Jesus. Send your God and angels, oh God. God is residence. We pray, oh God, that his wife and children would be kept safe. Oh God, we pray for the men around him, the cabinet, oh God. We pray for unity, Lord. We come again, so oh God, undermine him. We come again, so oh God, the spirit of division, and we cast it out. We cast it out of the cabinet tonight in the name of Jesus. Spirit of division, we command you now to leave in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And oh God, we pray. We pray for the spirit of accord. We pray, oh God, that these men will synchronize, that they would harmonize, oh God. Give them one purpose, oh God. We pray, oh Lord God, that the vision that you have for this nation, oh God, would be revealed to these men now in the name of Jesus. God, give them a perfect heart. Give them a humble heart, oh God. And help them to realize, oh God, that power comes only from you. Father, in the name of Jesus, help these men and women, O oh God, to humble themselves, O oh God, and seek your face in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, as they have declared that they will be tough on crime and the causes of crime, O oh God, we pray for your protection, Lord. And we pray, God, that you would anoint them to rid this country of the scourge of crime and violence, oh God. Of drugs, oh God. Of weapons in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we give to you these men and women. We give to you the cabinet, Lord. We give to you parliament, Lord God. And we ask all believers, just point your hands towards the parliament, house of assemblies. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, laws are passed that can determine our outcome. But we pray, God, in the name of Jesus, you will be the presiding officer in parliament, oh God.
this is the most impressive occasion where if three people have come together to praise the Lord and Savior. A most impressive occasion. I want to express on my own behalf and on behalf of the cabinet, the sister Gerlin who was here and brother Conrad, for the prayers for those of us who are in the leadership of this country. And I want to thank the Youth for Christ and the pastors who are here for this particular anointing and the prayers. You know, sometimes when you become Prime Minister, a number of persons believe that all of a sudden you become a superman. I'm not a superman. I am a sinner in search of redemption. given me a certain measure of earthly authority. I know that over me there is a divine power. This is a nation founded on the belief in the supremacy of God and the freedom and dignity of man. As has been said, from time to time I will make mistakes. I have promised to you on more than one occasion. Anytime I consider that I've made a mistake, I will come to you and say that I've made a mistake. And see how I can correct it. Not alone, but with your help. Each of us is imperfect. And like all of you there, I have sinned and come short of the glory. I want us to continue to prefer each other and for each of us to prefer ourselves and our families. I'm very, very happy and very pleased that I've been in this prayer meeting this evangelical occasion this evening. And I want to thank you, and I want to thank Almighty God. Thank you, and may God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. We continue to pray, pulling on the strongholds of the enemy. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah. God, we give you praise. We worship you because the earth is yours and the fullness thereof. And so God, we bless you and we thank you, O oh God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that there is nothing impossible that you can do. Lord, we come on behalf of the farmers of this, of this nation, Lord God. We thank you that this nation is an agricultural nation. And most of the people in this nation, they are farmers. Father, we give you praise that God righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach. Father, we are in a position, Lord God, at this moment, where our economy is at stake because our agriculture is at stake. And Father, many of our farmers are discouraged. My Lord, I think there is no way out. God, I thank you that when things are impossible with men, they are all possible with you. And I give you praise and I give you thanks, my Lord. God, come in repentance. Oh Lord, guard on behalf of our farmers, because I believe, God, you're a guard of principle. And the principle that I've been word is the principle of false fruit. And God, I believe, my Lord, we might. 
you. They will cry out in repentance in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord God, that your ears are not deaf, neither your hands short, that it cannot reach us. And my Lord, if we will only cry out, you will come in with revival and restoration, and you will restore that which the caterpillar has eaten, that which the conquer worm has eaten, that which the locust has destroyed, that which the devourer has destroyed. And God, you will stand before us, my Lord, and rebuke the devourer for our sake. In the name of Jesus, I pray they will return to faithfulness, Lord. They will return to loyalty, Lord. They will return to commitment unto you. I pray, Lord God, then you will open up the windows of heaven and produce and provide markets in the name of Jesus. Markets in place wherewith they have not dreamed of before. Markets in place, Lord, that they could not have found before. Open up new doors in the name of Jesus. And we give you glory for all things are possible with you. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We magnify your name, Lord. We exalt your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, Lord. We magnify you tonight, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. We love you. We appreciate the Lord. We bow down before you. We call upon your name, Lord. You said the name of knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the honor and to the glory, Lord God. Father, right now, God, we pray for our education system, Lord. We bring our schools before you, the primary school, God. Lord God, we pray for our college, Lord God. We pray tonight, Lord God, that you will undertake, Lord, in a mighty and special way. We pray, God, you're going to visit our school right now. God, we come against every demon spirit that will be prevented in our school. Right now, we find every evil spirit, that the spirit of demon right now that are prevailing in the school today right now in the name of Jesus the demon of the sector the demon of drugs the demon of homosexual we bind them and we cast them out of our school right now in the name of Jesus we take authority over them right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and Father I pray right now that you're going to release our boys release our girls right now in the name of Jesus over right now. Oh God, renew their mind. Let the mind of God be stand upon you today. In the name of Jesus, we pray God, dear Father, that you're going to give them, oh God, dear Father, Hallelujah. a positive attitude, God, to think towards you, Lord God. Help us, oh God. We pray today, Lord God, for our teachers in our school, Lord. Let the teachers of God be role models in our school, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, let us set a standard, Lord God, in our school, Lord. And help them, oh God. Understand, oh God, day after day, Lord, that they will train up our children, God. Lord God, that they will think positively, Lord God, towards you, Lord. We pray, God, for freedom of worship in our school, Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh God, just take over. And let the Holy Spirit, God, have his way within our school, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for what you have done. And we thank you for what you're going to do, Lord. Raise up God fearing teachers. Raise up, oh God, God fearing children, Lord. Help them to stand there, Lord God. Among the others, Lord. We pray, God, dear Father, for those that are already saved, Lord. Let the lights shine. Oh God, we pray today, Lord God. Let the lights shine in our school, Lord God. That others may see the God walk and glorify your Father, which is in heaven, Lord. Lord, we thank you. And we pray, God, that your will is going to be done, Lord, within our school, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you.
worship you. Father, we lift you up. Father, we magnify your name. For truly there is none like unto you. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Father, I come before you this evening in the name of Jesus. I bring the ministry of national security and the law. Father, I pray for the minister. God, just that how you reveal the plans of the enemy to Hezekiah. I pray, oh God, that any plan that is being made against our country, I pray, oh God, that you would reveal it. I pray for strength. I pray for courage. I pray for boldness for our minister of national security in the name of Jesus. Father, I bring that department. I bring the permanent secretary. I bring every member of staff in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for unity. I pray for oneness. I pray for togetherness. I come against the spirit of disunity. I come against the spirit of discord in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray in Jesus' name that your will be done. God, I pray for the legislators as they would meet from time to time. God, to make law come against you in the name of Jesus. And I command you upon the authority of God's word to take your hand, take your hand off in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just want to thank you and we just want to praise you and we just want to lift you up as we place everything into your hands. In Jesus' name with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name with thanksgiving. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. the 
Jesus, to that God. I ask that you'll make a way for them where there seem to be no way. Some of them come to school under curses. But Father God, in the name of Jesus, tonight I reverse every curse against them in the name of Jesus.
for the direction in which the tourism industry must go, oh God. Lord, I pray for prosperity in this nation, oh Lord. Lord, I pray that we have quality tourists coming here, oh Lord. Tourists coming that have money, oh Lord, to leave here. Those that will be willing to spend, oh Lord. Lord, not those that will just come to buy a postcard, oh Lord, but those that will spend, Lord, and contribute to our economy, oh Lord. your blessing will be upon this land, O oh Lord. So much so, God, that you, you won't even know why people would want to come to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, O oh Lord. They will just be flocking our shows, O oh Lord, and we would not even know why, but it will, we know that it will be because of the grace of God why people will be coming to our shows, O oh God. Lord, I prefer the mini bus trust, O oh Lord, that they unite as one, O oh Lord. Lord, that you provide employment for them, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Because the more tourists are coming, Lord, the more work they will have to do. Even those who, those craftsmen and women, O oh Lord, those who are making baskets and other things for craft, Lord, that you help them. Lord, even help them to produce better products, O oh Lord. Not anything in O oh Lord, but help to take pride in their work, O oh God. Lord, even those who are working in the hotels, O oh Lord, that they'll take what they are doing seriously, O oh Lord, that they'll put their best foot forward. Lord, that tourists come here, Lord, that they will want to come time and time again because of the friendliness and the hospitality of our people, O oh God. Lord, help us to treat them right. Lord, to make them feel at home, O oh Lord. Help us, Lord, as people to change our attitude, our attitude to one another, O oh Lord. To welcome them to our show, and Lord, to keep our environment clean, O oh Lord. Not to have garbage scattered all over the floor, but help us first, O oh Lord, to take pride in our environment, O oh Lord. Lord, that we have a clean, nice country for our visitors to come to. Lord, uh, even now I pronounce prosperity on this land, O oh Lord. Lord, I praise from Lord that. Our economy will be built up, O oh Lord. Even now, Lord, we see in the spirit, Lord, those tourists coming in their numbers, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray for a strong economy and every sector of the economy we are praying for, but especially for the tourism industry, Lord. There are so many things around the world that could affect this industry. This industry is very fragile. So, Lord, I pray, Lord, that You'll keep it steady that many will still be attracted to this country, O oh Lord. Despite of what is happening around in the world, O Lord. That many will come and find peace, find joy, O oh Lord, in our country. Where they can find in no other country, O oh Lord. We just want to thank you, Lord, for what you are doing in this, doing for us tonight, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for answering prayer. Thank you for boosting our economy. Thank you for providing for us, O oh Lord. Answering prayer, hallelujah. We want to pray for our spiritual leaders. We're gonna pray for the church. Now, this time I want all our church leaders, pastors, and church leaders to just come. Come up here. We want to pray that God will just bless us as a church. That righteousness will prevail. Hallelujah. We want to pray for the church tonight. Hallelujah. Could we have all our pastors and church leaders just come to the front? Hallelujah, hallelujah, we must also pray for our spiritual leaders. As our pastors continue to come, let us just lock in to God. Everybody, just tune in, just start praising, just start worshiping. As Paul and Silas was praising God in the prison, you remember what happened? A great earthquake came, burst the chains on their hands and feet, burst the doors open, just by God. Come on believers, let's praise God. 
things happen. Big things, mighty things happen when we miss God. There is power in praise. Come on, come on, continue to praise Him. Send up the praise of Oga Jaira, our provider. God, we praise you. We worship from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Your name is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We praise you. You are mighty God. Our fortress. Hallelujah. You are a strong tower. The righteous witness. Hallelujah. We praise you. We praise you. We can see the Yadabash. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We worship you. We adore you. We bless your mighty name. For the other name. There's other name on the heaven given to man. Whereby we must whereby we must be saved for the name of Jesus. We exalt your name. We exalt your name. We just ask that you would visit us this evening. We have this Lord. Visit us this evening. Visit us with your spirit before, because you said it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by your spirit, Lord. It's by your spirit. The mountains shall be removed. It is by your spirit. Oppression shall flee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want everybody to focus your hands, your mind, stretch forth your hands to the men of God. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for them. Those who are here and those who are not here. We're just going to pray for them. Hallelujah. For in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We lift up your people before you. We lift up before you. The men, those, the men that have responded to your call, Leeds and Vincent and the Grenadines in this new millennium. For such a time as this. If they need you before, they need you now. For they are only human. They are weak. But you are strong. I pray, Lord, for an anointing. The rest of their lives become negative. Sometimes they get frustrated. Sometimes they get pressed. Sometimes they can feel like they don't. But I pray for a new anointing, a new outpouring of the Holy Spirit on their lives this evening. I pray that you will touch them from the crown of their heads to the souls of their Lord. For we believe without a shadow of a doubt that you are able to sustain them, that you are able to give them the power and the anointing that will to be free from sin, free from iniquity, that, that, that you would cause believers in the churches to rise up. I pray that an anointing will rest on them that will cause them to seek after you night and day. For you said if your people that are called by your name shall humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways and you will hear from heaven you will forgive our sins and heal the land. I pray oh Lord that this will be a turning point in their lives. That there was, this will be a turning point in the lives of the church of St. Vincent and the Grenadines that we will hunger after you Lord. That you would do it that we will seek you with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our might, that we will not rest, Lord. As David said, as the, as the deer panted after the water broke, Lord, let our souls pant after thee, Lord. You said, they that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. You said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all your righteousness and all other things shall be added unto us. And I pray this evening that a yearning, that a desire will give birth in our lives, in the lives of your leaders, that they will seek after you, not after buildings, not after material things, not after a large congregation, but after you, oh God, to know you, to develop a closer relationship with you, because we know then and only then we will experience the power and the anointing that will We come against fear. We come against walls of division among the leaders. We bind them in the name of Jesus. For you said all power is given unto us in heaven and earth. What we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What we loosen earth shall be loosened in heaven. We come against the spirit of division. We break them down in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of disunity. We bring 
Jesus. And we claim, we declare unity among the men of God. In the name of Jesus, we come against spirit of oppression, spirit of depression, the frustration that that are depressing them. We bind them in the name of Jesus. We them free, Lord. And we lose the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost in their life now. In the name of Jesus. cost to it. We have received some support already to meet the cost, but we do not have all the money. Let me ask you, the believers in St. Vincent, to join with us and support. Make an investment into the kingdom of God by giving something to offset in the cost this evening. I ask you to give because God has given us the greatest gift, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He has given us so much things that we can be thankful for to this evening. He has given us life, which we need to praise Him for. He has given us food at our tables, which we need to praise Him for. He has given us the strength to work for the finances that we have received. And I'm asking you, as we have come into His presence, to return a portion onto His work, to put something into the kingdom of God. Father, we thank you this evening for the wonderful time we have had in your presence so far. We worship you and exalt your holy name because you are worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun on to the great of the same. We thank you for St. Vincent. We thank you for the finances that you have blessed this nation with. We thank you for every, every individual here this evening and we thank you for the blessing upon their life. And we ask oh God that you will return a portion of your work this evening. We pray Father that you have blessed the organization of Youth for Christ. You have blessed New Life Ambassadors, you have blessed former miracle church, oh God. And we pray that you bless them as we return a financial faithful and bless us in Jesus' precious name as we worship you, as we praise you, as we magnify your holy name. Thankful now, Jesus' precious name. Amen.